Hey guys, thank you for checking out our video today. My name is Sean Elders and this is Pinnacle Combat Arts. Like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell so you can be notified every time we get a new video. Today we're going to be working on Panatukin's slipping in diagonal female and male stepping. Let's get started. One of the things that you guys need to understand when it comes to this is, is that footwork is key. Footwork is everything, okay? And so the first step is for you to understand and learn the male and female footwork when you're learning uh, Pantatukin. We use male and female footwork all the time. For instance, we have the female step, just like this, okay? The female step is to help us diagonal to one way or the other way. Okay, it is the change angles. Then we have what they call the male step. Okay, and there is more than one way to do the male step. Okay, that's something that you need to understand is that when we're doing the male step or the female step, they, there can be leaning or what we call relastico. When I move, for instance, for the male step, I can move offline like this offline same thing with the female when i move i can move offline and offline that is the idea using our feet is the key essence to all of this okay what i recommend is you put your get yourself put yourself some some drum beats on okay from africa to indonesia to the philippines or any drum beat type style you want and find your downbeat and practice doing your footwork with it, okay? That's the first step. The second step is to get the body mechanics, okay? So when I do female, when I do my female step, I'm moving forward, okay? But I move, I'm evading when we're talking about slipping. Female step, what it does is it creates a new line of attack and helps you evade their line of attack. So I female step, not only can I stay right here and create a new line of attack, but I can also twist and turn just like you see in modern day boxing. Okay. We go here and then we turn, see, we go here and we turn. All right. And it's the same thing with the male step. I step back and I can turn. See this? I step back and I can turn. Those are the basics to this. Okay. Then what you can do you get in front of the mirror and you make sure that you have a piece of tape on the mirror where the punch would come. You step off from that position, okay? And you step off from that position. You step off and make sure your head is not anywhere close to where that dot would be, okay? That is the key. Then what you do is you practice, if I'm in my fighting stance, okay, I slip and you can hook and cross, see that? You come back to your position, you can go to the other side. You slip and you can hook and cross. You do the male step. You step, you slip, and you hook and cross. Or you can hook with the front hand and cross with the rear hand. Same thing with the other side. You slip, I can cross and hook, okay? You could slip, cross and hook. We go back to the female. So you can make this kind of a organized exercise for yourself. You step, you slip out of the way. You hook cross, you go to the other side. You step and slip, you hook and cross, okay? You go to the back. This time you're gonna do a cross and then a hook. You step the other way, you slip, and you then cross and hook because it makes the most sense. The lead hand, if it's closer, you hook with it, right? Because that's usually the hand you can do it with. Sometimes you can use the rear hand to hook, but in this case, because of how far I am, it's gonna be hard for me to hook from this distance, okay? But if I slip and I throw that cross, this is already there. Notice I have this other hand up defending and protecting this, this side of my body for an attack and I hook and I go back to position. So that's your basic exercise when it comes to male and female Panatukin. Now what you can do is you can bring in a partner, okay? Partner comes in and we can just stand, we can just practice getting in our stance, okay? And if I want to do a step, a female step, for instance, he throws a jab and I parry it and look at my feet. I step here just like this, 
You see, I step right here, okay? And then I can throw my hook and then my cross and I'll do it on the other side too. Okay, if he's in, go ahead and get in your left lead, okay? He throws the jab and I parry and I step off, okay? Or I don't even need to parry. All I gotta do is just flip, slip out of the way. There's my hook and then there's my cross. You see that? He's got good structure to the point where his shoulder's in the way you can't even see it. That's good body mechanics. So that's the whole idea of this, okay? If we step, take one step back for me, Lennon, okay? And if he moves in at me and he throws that cross, I can, I can step like this from his, from his uh, jab, see that? And what's gonna happen is look, even when, he's, even when he's retracting that hand, my cross comes in and then I can hook. If his hand's up, great, I can also hook to the body, you see? So if I'm in my position here, okay, and he decides to throw a jab cross, I catch the first one, okay, and then he steps in and does that cross, boom, look what I did now. I slip the other way, go in the opposite direction, and this is where I can go cross, okay, and then hook if I have something available, or I can go low and hook, okay? We'll do it from this side so you can see a little bit better. So when, for instance, I'm in this position here, okay, when he throws that, he throws a jab and then he throws a cross, but when on that cross, he's, he comes in real deep and I just slip out of the way here. And then I keep my guard up. I throw my here and then I can throw that hook if it's available. I can hook to the body or hook to the head, okay? But the idea is, is it is the development of exercise. You can do it with focus mitts the same way. So go ahead and grab some focus mitts. The idea is, is that we want to have a, a structure of fundamentals where you build upon it. I don't care if you've been doing Pantatukan for 10 years. I, I think you should start off doing the exercise from the foundation basics. I do basics still all the time. And I've been doing this for a long time, okay, since 93. So you need to keep that in mind. It doesn't matter how good you are when you're by yourself. Doesn't matter who you are you should always go back to the fundamentals and basics because that is your foundation, okay? And every great fortress is built with a great foundation, okay? So when I'm in my position here, I'll do it in left lead. Um, when he, he's going to get your left lead too, okay? So for instance, if I want to, to uh, fight and for instance, he throws the jab, okay? I can slip that jab and take a, what I call a lateral step, but it's also a female step, you see that? I hook it and then I cross, see that? So the hook can be the mid, boom, and then the cross, you see that? So he throws, boom, I go out of, pop, pop, you see that? So again, I'm in my position, I slip out of the way, I hook and I cross, okay? Just like that. And it could be the same way on the other side too. If I'm in my fighting stance, okay, he throws that jab and he throws a cross and I slip out of the way. I'm gonna throw a hook and then a cross, you see? It's very important that we do it like that. You have to practice it, okay? And it's the same thing with the male step. Let's do it with the male step now. So when, when he throws that jab, I'm gonna just lateral step here and then I hook and then I cross, you see? That's all it is. So I'm in my left lead and I go and I slip, boom, and I go one, two, you see? Then what happens is, is if he throws a jab cross, I go one and two. When he throws that, that cross, let's back up just a little bit. When he throws that, the go jab cross, one, and then step with that cross, see this? So I go like this, see that? And then what happens, I go cross and then I hook. Let's do it again. So I'm in my left lead. There's a jab, I slip it like this. This creates the female, I mean the male step. I come in with a cross and then I do a hook, okay? So these are the basics of the, fun, the fundamentals of the male female footwork. There's a million things. I got so many things to teach you guys, okay? But today I'm just gonna give you just the little basics, just a little bit uh, to, for you to get started because you could spend good, a good amount of time just mastering this. Go to our website, PinnacleCombatArts.com. There you can find out more about what I do and the classes that I provide. Thank you guys so much for your support and have a great day.